taking this time to reflect. I sit here during this whole uh, quarantine-ish thing and whatnot. For a lot of people who have nobody, um, didn't have anybody before, they had nobody. Not that they weren't open for or available or whatnot, but they've gone through a enough in life that they've grown to at least understand that for some strange reason they kind of suck at being able to actually be more in a structured, committed kind of adult uh, association with whatever would seem to be the uh, local uh, resources available. What I'm actually getting at right here is I've been sitting here I'm watching a lot of these, you know, made-for-TV movies and whatnot, especially for people of color in our culture. And then recalling how, you know, different eras and different times have changed us to such a degree that sometimes, you know, the hardest things for us to actually take a long period of time in the mirror. And... Put yourself there and put the others there and put what all of those things are because this time, this era right now, spiritually, is what may create the one chance that a lot of people in this humanity might have to be able to change the cycle of whatever has created their ability to be how and where they are right now. But it's an individual choice and it requires a a certain amount of uh, faith in accepting that kind of uh, you know challenge. So what I'm kind of beating around the bush with is you know I was reading a little meme that was saying something about if you are still uh harboring a certain disgust, dislike, distaste, or anything for any form or fashion of whatever someone else in your your past attempt of, of, of a cohabitation has been in your life. More than you're capable of totally eliminating that that instinct merely by, you know, being able to better identify all of the other things that might have countered more of that for surely the importance of you being more prepared that no other time after that should you fall for the same things that you fell for the last couple of times enough for nobody to notice that, you know, you falling for that would make a, you know, a snowball effect. Um, a lot of times, you know, we get to a point where we forget where the fun of all of this used to be. You know, and this whole relationship thing, you know, we used to have this dream and feeling. Not that we weren't going to be able to, you know, have our own little thing or this, that, and other, but to be uh, noticeably valid in others' lives. The craving, the desire for that to be the focal point enough that there would be no need for uh, tribute, you know, more so than the actual identifications of doing that. You know, you made uh, an easy bake oven or you made a tea party or you played house with the intentions of, you know, I really just enjoy spoiling someone who is not really equipped to handle the amount of spoiling I really get more off of just doing than they really honestly, you know, qualify for. But, you know, um, the fear of, you know, and then they're going to mess it up. And this, and it has nothing to do with what somebody else is going to mess up or this, that, and the other. It's better to enjoy the masochistic ability of being able to overly saturate someone else than think that you being able to demand your fair share of this, that, the other would 
actually reap any more benefit than that because, well, here we are at a point now in life where, you know, the only reason why many of us are stuck al more alone is because there's less of us right now who are really honestly trying to, you know, uh, marinate and take this time to really honestly do some soul searching so that if this shit comes back around again, they won't be stuck in the same muck that they were stuck in without the ability for them to be able to cohabitate with each other for however long it takes, you know? And uh, I'm sure that there's somebody out there that gets whatever it is that I need to say right now. So I'm going to leave it at that. And if somewhere down the line you find this being helpful to you, uh, find me and send me a cash app or whatever you want. I'm not asking for a thing, but you know, nothing says thank you like cash. You good? <laughs>